Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's the place where I try something new every single day. And today it's, it's not the dad delivers vlog, it's the dad's, it's the granddad delivers vlog. Hi granddad. And, <laughs> and today I'm gonna put up this. It's the, <laughs> it's been amended. It's the Ikea Valamos or Valamosi today shower rail. I'm gonna put up the shower rail to replace this. This is how it looks at the moment. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a, a nice impressive design feature there, the green string holding up the shower head. So we went to the big blue and yellow box to get this, the Ikea Valamos shower head. Yeah, shower head and rail. And this is what comes in the box. Let's do a little unboxing. You get a gorgeous shower head. It is plastic, but it's chrome colored. You get the shower rail to hang it up on. Whoa, just dropped a bit. And helpfully even shows you which way up it goes and you get the crucial hose to connect the shower head to your water fitting. I'd say that's about a meter long. I'll put it on screen now if I'm wrong. I'm going to be putting up this IKEA Valamos shower rail and head step by step so that you can follow along with me and hopefully avoid any of the mistakes that I make along the way. And I think the very first thing we've got to do obviously is to climb into the delightful <laughs> it's almost like the TARDIS. It, it's smaller on the inside than it looks from the outside, but we're gonna get this delight off first. This is my dad's long serving shower head. It's, it's barely <laughs> clinging on for dear life there after a long life of service to, to other owners of this house. It's the green string that really is the, the finishing touch, but, but we're gonna probably lose that today and replace it with some gleaming Ikea chrome. Now, obviously your shower rail, the one that you've got at the moment you wanna get rid of, it might not be like this one, but I'm gonna just do this so that you can see how mine comes down just in case it helps you take down your shower curtain. I keep calling it a shower curtain, it's a shower rail. <laughs> and where I'm going to start with this is to just start pulling at it and without much effort, it, there might be a screw underneath on your one, but this one just literally, oh my goodness, it just literally pulls off the wall. So I should take off the shower, shower head. Oh, oh dear, that didn't sound too good. <laughs> you probably won't have to get rid of a string, but I will. And then I think the rail just comes out like that. Oh my God. And then this just pulls off. Oh my God, and it's already, you can see that it's broken there. I think the screw is just literally falling off with rust. I'm not using a power tool for this because it would probably fly off and just tear the cheap metal screw. And it's, uh, it's come off easily, but it's left a couple of holes here. So I'm hoping to cover those with the Ikea rail when we put that up. Oh, there's nothing there. All right, I might try my power screwdriver and see if that works. I am running a very big risk with this. I've put a really sharp, just flat head screwdriver on, even though it's a cross head, just to really dig in and try and turn it. I've got a funny feeling it's just gonna destroy the screw, but here goes. Oh man, it's bent my screwdriver. <laughs> wow, okay, so it works by not using the drill and to just turn the drill. It's got all this weight and it's kind of pulling on the whole thing and I'm using the thickest crosshead screwdriver. Oh, it's really satisfying. One down, uh, one final one to go. There we go. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Get rid of that. This isn't looking good. I'm gonna try some WD-40 just to loosen the screw. No, it's not working. <laughs> so I've got a hacksaw. I'm gonna try and take it off, but it's, it's gonna look really ugly. And it might crack the tile as well. Yeah, it's just gonna take off the head. It's not actually gonna be flush. It's turning. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I think the WD-40 really helped. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, I did it. So we're gonna use these two holes now here to put the new IKEA shower rail into. Now I can put this top piece on. It looks like this. It's got a hole going through it. That means that the pole can pass all the way through. And I'm gonna fit this up here. Let's just screw this to the hole that's already there. Now, predictably, the, the screw, <laughs> the screw is too long. It won't go in any more than this. I'm gonna try it with a smaller screw. What we're gonna do now is to slide the pole into the holder 
and there is that sticker saying up. So I'll just feed it through the hole here. So now I can fit the bracket underneath to hold it by the base. Let me get you closer to the action. This hole here is gonna take the pole and there's a little notch that matches that notch in the, in the pole there. So now it doesn't spin, it's locked, locked in place. Now I can put on these little chrome caps to cover up those ghastly holes and hold everything in place. One goes at the top and obviously this one goes in at the bottom. It is really crucial that you put this the right way round because this tab here, that actually locks the pole in place. It goes into the little gap at the top there. So make sure that this is the right way round. Now we get to put on the shower hose. There's a little washer in there that means it doesn't leak so I've put those in and I've screwed the shower head to the hose here all we need to do is unscrew the hose that's already there and it's a bit stiff but <laughs> we can force this up and now I can put on the nice new clean IKEA shower hose that's connected to the head and now we can put on the shower head. I've not been able to tighten this up all the way I don't know if the washer does go in there I've put it in for safety it doesn't seem to leak and we can put that on the on the shower rail, look, and it tips down like that. Ah, oh, I'm really, really proud of this. I'm calling this a Dad Delivers sound effect success. Let's enjoy the beauty of the IKEA Valamos shower rail and shower head with hose. And there's not much room in here for me to do this, but right here is what YouTube thinks you would love to see next. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.